Welcome to Premath. In this video, we have got this uh, triangle uh, ADP and this uh, circle uh, put together as you can see in this uh, diagram such that uh, this big uh, triangle uh, ADP consists of uh, this uh, cyclic uh, quadrilateral uh, ABCD and uh, this uh, yellow shaded uh, triangle uh, BCP and moreover this uh, segment uh, AB is uh, 6 uh, units and likewise uh, this segment uh, AD is equal to this segment uh, AB so therefore uh, this segment uh, AD is going to be 6 units as well and this segment uh, CD is uh, 9 units and furthermore uh, this angle uh, ADC is uh, 60 degrees and now our task is uh, to calculate the area of this uh, yellow shaded triangle uh, BCP please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe and please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale let's go ahead and get started and here's our very first step let's focus on this uh, cyclic uh, quadrilateral uh, ABCD and now let's recall the definition of a cyclic uh, quadrilateral if all the vertices of the quadrilateral lie on the very same circle as you can see in this uh, diagram and moreover the opposite angles of a cyclic quadrilateral have a total of 180 degrees so therefore we can see that our this uh, quadrilateral a b c d is a cyclic uh, quadrilateral since all these vertices uh, lie on the circle and moreover the sum of uh, this angle and this uh, opposite angle uh, are going to be equal to 180 degrees so therefore uh, this angle uh, ABC turns out to be 120 degrees and in this uh, next step I have connected uh, these vertices uh, A and C and now let's focus on this uh, triangle uh, ACD and now I'm going to label uh, this side uh, AC as a uh, lowercase uh, t and now let's recall the law of cosines for this given triangle uh, ABC and we are going to apply the law of cosines on this uh, triangle uh, ACD so we are going to apply the law of cosines so that is going to give us uh, t square equal to 6 uh, square plus uh, 9 square minus 2 times uh, 6 uh, times 9 times cosine of uh, angle uh, 60 degrees and now we know that cosine of 60 degrees is uh, 1 uh, divided by 2 as you can see in this uh, next step I have replaced this cosine of 60 degrees uh, by 1 divided by 2 over here so when we simplify the right hand side uh, our t square value turns out to be 63 and here's our next step let's focus on this uh, other triangle uh, ABC and we are going to apply the law of cosines on this triangle uh, ABC as well and let me go ahead and label uh, this uh, side length uh, BC as uh, X let's go ahead and apply the law of cosines on this uh, triangle so this is going to be T square equals to 6 uh, square plus uh, X square minus 2 times uh, 6 uh, times uh, x uh, times cosine of uh, 120 degrees and now we can see cosine of 120 degrees uh, is negative 1 divided by 2 as you can see in this uh, next step I have replaced this cosine of 120 degrees by negative 1 divided by 2 and furthermore uh, on the left hand side uh, t square equal to 63 so therefore I'm gonna replace it by 63 over here as you can see in this uh, next step I have replaced this t square by 63 over here and in this uh, next step I am going to subtract 63 from both sides this is gone so therefore we are ended up with the uh, x square plus uh, 6 uh, x minus uh, 27 equal to 0 and now we can see we are ended up with this uh, quadrat equation uh, x square plus 6x uh, minus 27 equal to 0 and we are going to solve this equation by grouping uh, and factoring 
Therefore, let me focus on this uh, middle term. 6x uh, could be tweaked as uh, 9x uh, minus uh, 3x. As you can see in this uh, next step, I have replaced uh, this positive 6x by this one. And now we can see between first these two terms, uh, x is in common and between last two terms, uh, negative 3 is in common. So therefore, let me factor out x. So we got x uh, plus uh, 9 and here I'm going to factor out uh, negative 3 and we got uh, x plus uh, 9 equal to 0. So therefore, I can write uh, x minus 3 times uh, x uh, plus uh, 9 equal to 0. So therefore our two solutions turns out to be x equal to positive 3 and x equal to negative 9. And now we know that x represents the side length so x cannot be a negative value. So therefore we are going to reject uh, this uh, negative value and we are going to accept uh, x equal to positive uh, 3. So therefore our uh, this uh, bc length that is being represented by x uh, turns out to be 3 units and now let's make an observation we can see that this whole uh, state angle is uh, 180 degrees and this uh, angle is 120 degrees so therefore our this angle uh, pbc turns out to be 60 degrees and now let's label uh, this uh, side uh, bp as lowercase uh, m and label uh, this side uh, CP as lowercase uh, n. And now our task is uh, to find the value of uh, M and N before we could calculate uh, the area of this uh, yellow shaded triangle. And now we can see that these uh, two triangles, uh, triangle uh, ADP and this uh, other uh, yellow triangle uh, BCP are uh, similar triangles according to angle angle uh, similarity theorem as we can see we have this angle is 60 degrees and likewise this angle uh, is uh, 60 degrees as well and moreover uh, this angle uh, p is in common between both of these uh, two triangles so therefore we are going to have a proportions as we can see over here the ratio of uh, a d and b c here is uh, our uh, AD and here's our BC is going to be equal to the ratio of AP and CP. As we can see this is our AP side and this is our CP length. And now we can see our AD length is 6, our BC length is 3, our this AP length is going to be 6 plus M. So I can write uh, M plus uh, 6 and finally CP length uh, is going to be lowercase uh, n. As you can see in this uh, next step I have replaced uh, with their values uh, over here. And now on the left hand side 6 divided by 3 could be reduced to 2 divided by 1. Let's cross uh, multiply. So therefore we are going to get uh, m plus uh, 6 uh, equals to 2 times uh, n. Let me go ahead and move this uh, 6 on the other side. So therefore m is going to be 2n minus uh, 6. And likewise we got another uh, proportion uh, as well as you can see over here. And here we got uh, ad divided by bc equal to dp divided by bp and here we can see our ad value once again is 6 bc value is 3 this uh, dp value is going to be n plus 9 so therefore i'm going to replace this one by n plus 9 and finally this uh, bp length is going to be lowercase uh, m over here as you can see in this uh, next step I have placed their values and here I have reduced this uh, 6 divided by 3 as 2 divided by 1 and now we are going to cross uh, multiply. So therefore we are going to get uh, 2m equals to n plus uh, 9 and here we can see we are ended up with this uh, equation m equals to 
two n minus six, and here we ended up with this uh, another equation two m equals to n plus nine, and we are going to solve uh, both equations for m and uh, n over here. And now here for m, I'm going to substitute its value two n minus uh, six uh, over here. As you can see in this uh, next step, I have replaced this uh, m by 2n minus 6 over here. And now we are going to distribute. That is going to give us 4n minus 12 equal to n plus uh, 9. And now we are going to move this negative 12 on the right hand side. And at the very same time, I'm going to move n uh, on the other side. As you can see in this uh, next step, so therefore we ended up with the 3 times n equals to 21. Let's divide both sides by 3. So therefore our n value turns out to be positive 7. And now we got this equation m equals to 2n minus 6. And here I'm going to replace uh, n value by 7 over here. As you can see in this uh, next step I have replaced n by 7 over here. And if we simplify everything, our m value turns out to be positive 8. So therefore, our this uh, m value turns out to be positive 8. And this n value is uh, 7. And here's our final step. Let's go ahead and calculate the area of this uh, yellow triangle BCP. And now let's recall the area of a triangle formula. Area equals to half times uh, A times B times sine of uh, angle uh, C. As you can see in this uh, triangle, we got sides A and B and C is the angle in between them. And in our case, our two side lengths are 8 and 3 and the angle between them is 60 degrees. So therefore, the area of this uh, yellow triangle is going to be 1 divided by 2 times uh, 8 uh, times uh, 3 times sine of uh, angle uh, 60 degrees. And now we know sine of 60 degrees is uh, square root of 3 divided by 2. As you can see in this uh, next step, I have replaced sine of 60 degrees by square root of 3 divided by 2. And if we simplify everything on the right hand side, uh, this is going to give us 6 times uh, square root of uh, 3. So therefore the area of this uh, yellow shaded triangle turns out to be 6 times square root of 3 square units. And that is going to be approximately equal to 10.4 square units. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.